From a She Loves Tech perspective, innovation to us is really women. She Loves Tech is an ecosystem builder and we showcase, scale and find women in tech startups which can impact the world. She Loves Tech started off as a competition, you know, related to women in technology. In 2015, a group of my volunteers in Beijing decided that they were really interested in the technology space. So we decided to hold a startup competition for women entrepreneurs and is now the largest competition in the world. We wanted to uh, do a simple event, hold a pitch competition and uh, showcase um, you know, some of the innovation which is coming out of the space and provide a great platform for women entrepreneurs using technology to solve problems. And that was how you know, She Loves Tech you know, was born. So basically, like, Virginia and I were friends before we started working together. But more than that, I do think that she's like, the most kind of passionate about women that I know, you know as a person. I believe um, what the bigger economic opportunity actually is, is what I call the she economy. The she economy is a massive trillion dollar economic opportunity. The data on the she economy also shows us that 75 to 80 percent of global consumption is actually controlled by women. So women consumers actually form the largest parts of many markets. I don't think we can ignore that. Imagine if you don't you know, include women in the conversation. Imagine if you don't include women in the creative process. Then the innovations that we'll have will be half. She Loves Tech aims to showcase, scale and fund startups. And we do think that the pitch competition is able to address all three. But more importantly, we do put a lot of stress in uh, showcasing. Showcasing for two reasons. The first reason is really uh, propelling the startups to that next level, you know, putting them on the stage, giving them the ability to, you know, talk to a larger audience. And the second thing is to feature role models, to, you know, let more people know that, hey, women in tech, you know, it's a real thing. And in the same way, we started with, you know, creating a community for, for women. And in that community, we noticed that there were a lot of people who were entrepreneurs who needed help, lacking funding, lacking uh, skills, lacking support. And because of that, we decided to take the leap and, you know, we, we saw the opportunity, we saw the gaps and we wanted to address that. The fact is, when we first started, no one was doing it, and someone needed to. She Loves Tech now is in 12 different countries, and in 2019, we're looking to have 20 countries. So it's grown very fast, but the thing that we're proud about, or the thing that we're happy about, is it's grown organically. People locally would reach out to us and say that they needed She Loves Tech in their countries. It started with just like a small community in Beijing and then it grew even bigger and larger. And then we also started to have, I would say, sister communities. Together, we're in this ecosystem which is just thriving, you know, growing every day and coming up with new services, new tools, new support systems, new programs. In September 2018, we launched Asia's first gender lens venture capital fund, Teja Ventures. So we're looking to fund uh, companies and entrepreneurs uh, who, whose products, technology uh, or services impact women positively, whether these women are end users, consumers, uh, or part of the wider ecosystem. Getting women into tech is not a moral issue, it's good business. If we're helping men, it's not necessarily about CSR, but when we're helping women, it's always CSR. I think it's the biggest um, economic opportunity of our generation. And I think that it would be foolish to ignore that. In recent years, women in tech has been a hot topic. And the most interesting part is the comparison between the East and the West. In China, there's a saying called, women hold half the sky. That alone speaks volumes. You know, in, in recent years as well, we've started to see that, you know, a lot of issues come out from, you know, the West. Whereas in China, you would notice that there has been a lot of movement in terms of having more uh, women CEOs and women in leadership positions in the technology industry. And people are starting to look at China from that role model perspective. More than 60% of the world's self-made female billionaires come from China, which is astounding. If we decided to do She Loves Sex somewhere else, we probably would still be able to do it. But probably not the same level, not the same scale, at, and definitely not the same speed that we've done it in China. 
that is definitely a channel, um, you know, for 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 econo economic empowerment at you know breathtaking pace. And there's no other place we see this more clearly than in China. She loves Tech has a very small full-time team, but we rely heavily on a group of volunteers spread across the world who make this happen, along with you know partner organizations and such. So if you're interested in helping this movement, if you're interested in building this ecosystem with us, then feel free to just come, be a volunteer, talk about it, or if you have an organization, join this, this journey with us. <laughs>